Good morning everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I am off to go and collect G back from Holland. So a lot of you won't know who G is. I've not posted about him much recently. Um, yeah, I haven't talked too much about him. But anyway, G is short for Guinness and he is my absolutely stunning black stallion so he is probably the best looking horse you have ever seen sorry sonny um <laughs> and he has been training in holland for a bunch of time so we took him over in february to get some training because he was feeling fit and fresh and young and i just had a lot on so we took him over in february and obviously didn't anticipate the rona so he has been kind of stuck there a little bit not too bad because he's been getting good training but yeah slightly stuck there and today we're going to get him back so as you can probably see it is pitch black it is 5 a.m bright and early brighter than i've been <laughs> earlier than i've been up in a while um so the plan is we are driving from sheffield to the tunnel which is in where is the tunnel i think it's near calais I'm not sure I'll you know check again so anyway we are driving from Sheffield to the Channel Tunnel and then we will cross over and we'll be in France and then we're gonna drive to Holland to near Denbosch I believe to go get him back um, there is a bit of a loophole when it comes to transporting goods because I mean we're only in tier 2 at the minute so we're not too high um, but there's a bit of a loophole you're allowed to kind of move freely between places without quarantining if you are transporting goods so we are literally turning up collecting the horse from a guy who's negatively tested negatively tested who has tested negative for coronavirus and then we'll be coming home so we're not really going to make many stops we're not too worried about it anyway so it should be okay um i'm very excited i'm feeling bright feeling fresh feeling ready to go uh, i'm going with my dad so he's going to do a little bit of the driving and i'm going to do a little bit more he's very good with transporting horses he's he's super good so i will keep you updated on the journey guys and i hope you enjoy this video Too many days in the darkness. So we are about an hour and a half away from the tunnel. Hopefully we're going to make the 1020 crossing. My dad did uh, round it down. So it normally takes about four hours, but he thought it was going to take three and a half. So we've been kind of making up time, didn't you? <laughs> um, so yeah, the, I was going to talk a bit about like the reason we go on the tunnel rather than the ferry because most people will have heard of like the, the Dover Calais ferry but the tunnel is from Folkestone to Calais. It's about 20 minutes instead of an hour and it's the best for transporting animals because with a horse like they're not they don't really they don't go on water a lot so they don't really have great sea legs as it were so the hour ferry is not too bad obviously if the crossing's not rough. Um, but the overnight ferry, I would never take a horse on the overnight ferry just in case the air's not good for them. They'll get a bit weird on the on the water and whatever. So the tunnel, it literally feels like you're on like a little train. It, it barely even wobbles just sometimes. So 20 minutes on the tunnel is the best way and like the safest way to transport horses. So some little general knowledge for you there. So we have to get, um, vet papers we've already got that sorted but you have to get like papers for the horse and they have a passport so most of you guys will probably have a horse but if you don't you horses also have a passport so we need that to travel to and from so hour and a half away from the tunnel I'll show you guys what it looks like when we get there if you've not already been on it before um, I have spent years on this tunnel because most of my competitions um, over the years were, were abroad so spent so much time going to Holland, France, Belgium and so on so yeah back to, back to the tunnel uh, another trip over but yeah, I will uh, keep you guys updated. Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared but I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken and beat Head pulled down over your eyes Every part of you wants to surrender Darling, you were meant to survive 
just got to the tunnel. We have made it. So we are on the, what time? The 10.19, Lexi. Um, we're just gonna stop, get some food, because we did get up at 5 a.m. So we're kind of hungry. Stop and get a little bit of food. Then we're on the tunnel. And then I think it's about three or four hours when we get off the other side. So all in all, not too, not too stressful, but yeah, this just looks like any English service station ever so far, as you can see. Look how meek and gross it is here. We love that. We just did our English passport control and now we're going through the second passport control, which is the French. So you have to go through two to cross the tunnel, so. Every star, we are born again. So, so we're getting on the tunnel and even though we got here in plenty of time they just said our last call in like a few minutes so ran into the flexi plus thing to get a sandwich but they had a decent spread wait for this this is all free food so but ham and cheese croissant we have some hummus and carrots we have some pombears some fruits, a Coca-Cola and a water, and a little Halloween cookie. How cute this is. So we are gonna be well fed, fat and sassy. We love that. And yeah, we're gonna go and get on the tunnel. It's gonna take about three hours and 15 minutes uh, to get to the place in Holland that we are going to. I'll keep you updated on the trip, but it's kind of just a bit more driving. But then we get cheese, so I'm very, very excited. We have already gone through France. We are in Belgium already. And then obviously next stop is Holland. Um, I completely forgot to say before though that the original plan was to go and get G and I was going to stay in Holland for like two or three days. I was going to train with the guy over there that he's been training with. I was going to have some lessons and ride him and you know just stay for a few days. But actually um, we got the news a few days ago that um, the yard that G has been staying at has closed due to some active coronavirus cases. So everyone had to go in quarantine and get tested. So obviously the guy training G um, tested negative and we aren't allowed properly on the yard. So I can't like show you his stable or where he's been staying or anything like that because no, uh, no outsiders, I guess, are allowed on the yard. Only, only people working there to obviously minimize the spread and minimize more infection. So, yeah, coronavirus is everywhere. The guy training him uh, tested negative and we are negative and we're not gonna be uh, really in contact with anyone. We've got masks and we're just gonna kind of sort of drive by, stuff poor G on the lorry and then, and then head straight home. So there will be no hanging around today. No, no frills as it were, just, just a drive by. 
most people who are watching this will have a horse so you'll know how horses travel but just in case you don't and you aren't familiar with horses um, to travel what horses do is they lock their knees so obviously four legs they lock all of their knees so they can balance better and so it's not like hard on them stood up so like as a human be very hard to travel stood up because we don't we can't really lock our knees so your legs would get tired and you'd wobble around and whatever so it's obviously why we sit down but horses like spread their legs and lock their lock their joints and their knees into place which pretty cool but you have got to drive much slower with a horse only two hours away now and I'm just gonna point out the Belgian cows are giant I am so confused at what they're feeding these cows like they are muscular they are shredded they are so beefy pardon the pun <laughs> oh that was really bad i'm sorry if you're a vegetarian or vegan anyway they are beefy and muscular and they just look like they could bench press you it's very weird hi baby hi g hi handsome boy oh my god you're so cute oh baby In the back, you can't, probably can't see. But I'm gonna show you the camera. We have a little camera. Oops. We have a little camera of him to make sure he's okay. He's already locked his legs. He's doing good. I think you can hear we're talking about him. Look at his face. <laughs> um. Yeah. So now it's about three and a half hours back to the tunnel, and then about three and a half, four hours back to home. So. My dad's gonna drive nice and steady because she's on board. We have precious cargo now. Um, he looks amazing, he looks so well, and he's, I forgot how gorgeous and cute he was. He's uh, full of personality, but luckily G travels very well. Some horses kick and stomp and shake around, but he is massive, so you would feel that. But no, he is being a good boy. So we are on the tunnel back to England. As you guys can see, this is the lorry, and we get a whole tunnel like section to ourselves with a horse box which is quite cool and we're gonna go and we're gonna go and check on the boy we're gonna go and check on G Hang on, not the whole street. 
straight away. Isn't that a boy place? It is. Gee! Bad boy. Happy boy. He's been pacing a little bit. <laughs> Hi, handsome. <laughs>